Hi, these comments are for OE, and this is Michael from BetterTofelScores.com. I hope you're having a great day, sir, and I'm getting ready to listen to your speaking practice test that you sent me. So do you like studying alone or studying with a group? Okay, here it is. I have the IBT speaking rubrics here. And I have your practice test. So let me listen to it, and then I'll give you my estimated score and why. I think what preparing for an exam, studying alone is a better option. Uh, because sometimes you can get sidetracked or distracted by your friends. One friend can get bored, for example, from studying for a while and decide to just speak out loud, which will ruin the focus of the whole group. I also think that studying in a group needs like extra preparations, again, where to meet, to start studying. Do we study online together or do we go out to a cafe? If you're studying alone, you don't need to go out or open Zoom, for example. You can just open a book and start studying on your own. Okay, so let's take a look at the rubrics. I think with uh, delivery, you can probably improve your pacing a little bit. That's one area difficulties with pacing. You see where it says it right there. Uh, I think with language use, the one thing is your point of view. Stay with either the first or the third person point of view. Don't use the you point of view because that kind of distances yourself from the speaking task and you don't really give any specific examples. And that brings me to my third area, topic development. I think that the details need to be more specific than what you provided. And that's going to help you to do better in the topic development area. I'm going to put you at 18 to 19 points out of 30 on this practice test.